Hello everyone, Zine and Zimmer here, and welcome back to Let's Play Zine of the Chronicles 3. Last time, we tried to get Juniper's Ascension Quest up here, but it didn't. But a few others still have? I don't get what makes some Ascension Quests available and some not. For example, ah. Miyabi's is active. Are you guys hungry? I wish there was an easy way to know. It seems pretty lively over there. What's the occasion? There's supposed to be some kind of cooking contest. Maybe they're preparing for it. Ha ha ha! Someone say cooking contest! You think they'd let me participate? Huh? I didn't know you cooked lambs. Me? Nah. I'm all about the eating. Think of all that grub! Ah, oh, maybe I should join too. Hey there, folks. Travis, Monica, we just heard about this cooking contest. Yeah, it's kind of a tradition around here. You know how the world is. Can't set foot outside without putting yourself in danger. People are going stir crazy or shut up with nowhere to go. They need a bit of light entertainment to diffuse some of that stress. So these contests are kind of a regular thing. I want a clip of him saying light entertainment. I cannot do a very English accent like he does. Because, oh, the way he says it, so good! This seems like the perfect opportunity for you to join in. To sample the food? Ah, I'm afraid the judges are selected by majority vote. They've already been decided well in advance. Said the winning dishes do get shared among the audience. So you'd like us to join as chefs? Yes! Count Manana in! Manana been champing at bit for cookery action! <laughs> yeah, this event's pretty much made for Manana. Word! C could I. Could I join as well? I like your spirit. You're both very welcome. Looks like you'll have your work cut out for you, eh, boss? You said it, Travis. I'll let you prepare the lucky spice. Oh, crap. Not that stuff. There are no binding rules, no themes to follow. You're free to make whatever you like, but you are expected to bring your own ingredients. Once you have them, take them to Michiba at her canteen. She'll hold on to them for you. Hearing loud and clear. I'll see you at the contest then. Looking forward to it. Manana, not pull punches. We rivals now, Miss Miyabi. Yes, let's do this. Since when did you learn to cook, Miyabi? You never told me. <laughs> I've only dabbled, really. Right. We better go out looking for our ingredients, eh? Hold on. We haven't even decided what we're going to make yet. Ah, just testing it. Before we decide, maybe we should ask around the city first. See what kind of foods they like. Their favorite seasonings. That should give us enough to make a start on. True. We need some kind of direction to start with before we can think about making anything. Something on your mind, Mia? I was just thinking, it's unusual for Miyabi to voice her interest in something like this. Before, she'd always tried to avoid anything that involved competition. So this is kind of a surprise. Ha, huh, I see. Well, all the more reason for us to cheer her on. Yeah. Happiness. Alright, asking time. Uh, who do we ask? Hmm. Someone who catches our eye? I think we'd be better off asking the folk at the canteen, though. They must know lots about the contest.
can we find out something from May? She gave me a nipple dipped in chocolate sauce the other day. King in the quest for peas. What kind of a book is this? It's a picture book about the has been bean king and his efforts to thwart the rotten legume empire. What? Let's talk to Rosanna. People were saying she won the contest before. Sure, we're well rested. Discuss. Where should I start? Miabis. We'll find them without too much trouble. Trouble. All right. Got a good chance of. Time to head out. <laughs> we literally only have one thing we don't have, and it's an item that oh, we need. Foxy. Maybe we should ask her. Oh, hey, Miyabi. You're with your friends today. Yes. Sorry if we're bothering you. Not at all. Not at all. Always nice to see you. So what brings you here? Actually, I've decided to enter the cooking contest. Oh, really? I'd like it if you came. I'm going to try as hard as I can. Sweetie, I would love to. I'll be cheering you on all the way. There's one other thing. I have a request. If it's not too much trouble... Tell me. Anything I can do to help. Would you mind sharing some of your Soy Primo sauce? Your homemade recipe? My sauce is going to feature. This just keeps getting better and better. Please, take as much as you need. I'm sure it'll be enough. But if by any chance you run out, just swing by again. Romero absolutely loves that sauce. I've got jars full of the stuff. Thank you so much! <laughs> You're getting awfully worked up about all this. Just relax and enjoy the experience. Yes, ma'am. Oh. <laughs> now, what did I just say? <laughs> Good to add more names. Now, instead of walking all the way there, we're just going to teleport. 
de la bote. I see some relations have changed. Wow. Are you guys hungry? Uh, uh, Good to add more names. Oh. Oh, it's behind. Great. That should be the last of me. Yes, I think so. Now for bananas. Was Mottle Marble Aries meat? Killjoy Crusted meat? Cozy Rogel Egg Gems and Lucky Marin Thick Cuts? Might be a bit tricksy for friends, but Manana have confidence! I have to say, I'm getting a little psyched for this. Level 4. <laughs> Me too! Alright. Let's make the most of our break, guys. Let's actually eat here. Mmm, delicious. Ah, oh, so good. So that's a new recipe then. Where to from here? We were moving in sync. Right, Tile? We're just fast traveling everywhere. That sound. Guys, get ready to fight. I'll make this quick. Can't let you show me up, Noah. <laughs> 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 We were moving in sync, right, Tile? Is this like a yeah. rare thing? We were moving in sync, right, Tile? That's red.
Here we go. You know what? Because we can try to stop us and build to the beat. I don't think we'll run into any issues. Let's beat the monster. Come after me, and that's what you get. <sighs> if only you didn't charge off on your own. I kind of wish it was a sandstorm, though. But now, let's just see if we can deal with this guy. Revenge on camera. Oh, because he thinks so cool. Bending that little. Keep your heads or lose them. Leave it to me.
go. We'll push through. Well within I won't fail. I won't fail you. Sweet breeze. Anyone healed up? No healing up here. Heal. You Hacked, enemy skill, strike shrinker. Just felt I should do that. All of the ingredients for the both of them. Tippy toppy job. Got everything you need now. Then I think it's about time to start the contest. Is everyone ready? As long as it's not a cooking medium, I'm ready. Looks like both the chefs and the judges are ready. Well, ladies and gents, it's time to start another annual cook-off. And who else to narrate the events as they unfold but the city's number one charmer? Just kidding, it's me, Travis, your ever-affable lost numbers lieutenant. Let's start by introducing our expert panel of judges. The lucky four adjudicators for this year's incredible turnout are... Drum roll, please. Gondor! You've been begging to be a judge for ages now. Looks like it's your lucky day. Oi! Don't you bloody patronise me. You'll be laughing on the other side of your face if you're not careful. Ahem, <clears throat> moving swiftly on. You fancy yourself an avid foodie? Well, let's see how you measure up to the wise and erudite well well. Next up, a lover of music and all things lyrical, it's Mr. Boomer. He's got a refined palate for music and food, and I'm sure he's about to give us a piece of his mind. Last but not least, we have our youngest judge on record. Introducing San. Far as I can tell, he just plain enjoys food. He'll eat whatever you can throw at him. <laughs> yeah, give me all your food. We want you four to judge the meals on their own merits as honestly as possible. Now, let's introduce our chefs. First up's our Lost Numbers ace cook, Nisik. So, how are you feeling? Think you've got the potential to be numero uno? <laughs> Watch it, you. No intimidating the judges. You're gonna scare the kid. You want to settle the score, you do it with food, calm and peaceful-like. Next up, it's our very own boss. Or should that be Elder? Uh, oh, uh, let's just say uh, Madam Monica. Just stick to the usual. Who's next? All right, boss it is. 
Next, we have Uro Boris's very own queen of cuisine, Manana. Manana ready to steal away hearts and stomachs of all. And whispers on the grapevine tell me our last contestant is a rising star. She's everyone's sweetheart, Miss Miyabi. You go, girl. <gasps> And those are our four entrants for today. Shall we get started? Then, Nisik, if you'd like to reveal the meal. Feast your eyes on this. So cool. Well, well, well. Applying heat cause emergence of emerald green undertones. Shell gradually transluce as it shine with beryl blades. Behold, the jade lobster. Is this thing edible? Mm. Hey, this is pretty tasty and juicy. Contrary to expectation, taste pop and lock inside mouth. Big bang of umami fill entire taste buds. <laughs> hey, how are you supposed to eat this? I don't get it. Maybe Nisik would be kind enough to assist. I beg your pardon? Let's check in with our next culinary combatant. It's our very own boss. <laughs> I'll find a chink in your armor. My dish is the Monicurry Special. Oh, come on! <laughs> How's that bear? Oh, it's got tasty sausages in it. Well, well, well. Well, well only heard rumors, but Monicurry said to be legendary meal among lost numbers. I'll have me some of that. Oh, damn you, bitch queen. You got the spice in a spot on. Flavor normally distinctive yet subtly veiled here, and spiciness perfectly compensate. But despite this, single plate appear positively heaped with nutrition. Is dish spice renowned or something deeper? Uh, it's making my tongue all prickly. <laughs> Oops, guess the kids' taste buds weren't quite prepared for that just yet. <laughs> Funny, everyone normally loves the stuff. Did I add too much lucky spice? I'm sure your bellies are gradually getting rounder, but there's plenty more where that came from. The next contender is... Manana! Finally! Time for big moment! Delicious dish of Manana is... Secret recipe of Nopon, passed down in greatest of stealthy... Or rather, little spin on traditional version. Doodle noodles! Manana style! Prepare for taste beyond taste! That looks yummy! This is gonna be awesome! Whoa! That's gonna be a banger! Tears of well well might form small pool. To think Nopon exists that could recreate recipe of legend. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Give me more of this meat! More! More! Well, well, never dream of chance to eat perfect doodle noodles in lifetime. Taste is beyond compare. Such level of extravagant! Well, well, good, well, rocket into skies above! How the crap is this so good? I don't know what to say. Oh, the competition's fierce, but we've got one more dish lined up for you all. Take it away, Miyabi! Okay, here's the meal I'll be presenting today. Oh. oh, it doesn't look very special. I guess, when you put it alongside the others, yeah. But it clearly made with love. 
Preparation of dish reflect nature of chef. And this, no exception. Ah, it feels... How should I put it? Comforting. Mm, so understated, yet so palatable. Hard to express in words. Like warmth filling entire body. I eat this fish all the time, but I don't think it's ever been this tasty before. Gosh, I wonder how she prepared it. I'd love to know. Same. Where do we go and ask her once the contest's over? May, you have the best ideas. Now that looks scrumptious. They look like they're loving the soy primo sauce too. Says something about the food. Now, I hate to break it to you folks, but it's time for the judges to make their decision. Which of these four outstanding meals has satisfied their stomachs? I'm sure you're all on the edge of your seats. The winner of this year's cooking contest is. Congratulations, Manana. <laughs> Feels good at the top. Better look next time, Yabby. Thanks, everyone. You all helped me so much. I didn't make first place, but I'm glad everyone got the chance to try my food. Manana was kind enough to raise the idea. Thank you, Manana. Ah, huh? not to mention. It would be terrible shame for friends to miss out on delicious nom noms of the Abbey. Nissick looks in a right mood. I can hear you. Can't let him get away with this, though, can we? I'll lend you a hand next time. <laughs> How'd you like the monocurry, Gondor? <laughs> Why are you asking me? Same as you always make it. The name's dumb, though. Can you come up with something better? You say that every time. I don't see the problem, personally. I actually kind of like it. I'm not asking your opinion. I'm saying it's freaking embarrassing. I've still got some left, by the way. You want a bowl or not? Don't change the subject. And of course I want a bowl. <laughs> Oh, that contest was so much fun. Maximum agree. Plus was big learning experience. Can see Manana need to greatly expand repertoire. Ah, if that's your plan, would you mind teaching me some more about cooking? Mama? Even though Miyabi already plenty good at cooking. Oh, I'm honored that you'd say so, but I really don't have a lot of experience. I'd love it if you could teach me some more. Oh, then let Manana pick up what Miyabi putting down. Miyabi asking to become apprentice of Manana? That's right. If it's not a problem. No problem. Manana, welcome with open wings. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you, Manana. Oh, before Manana forget, I should snaffle up recipes of Monica and Nisik while still have chance. Oh, good idea. Let's do that. Hey, <laughs> Miyabi. You did great there. Your food was amazing. <sighs> I said before that I did this for the city. Of course, 
They were the highest priority in my mind. But really, it was for the both of you. I so wanted you to try it. It was for us? This world, it's filled with nothing but tragedy and hardship for us. But now, after coming here, that feels like a distant dream. Right. You've always kept my wishes in your heart, haven't you? That's why you brought me here, right? Because we're alive. We get to see these sights. Thank you. <sighs> no, Miyabi. Thank you. complete good to add more names we're gonna change history oh okay so we definitely have quests here we can do Might as well do Monica's now. I see some relations have changed. They're available. Let me get this straight. You want me to talk the defense squad into issuing you a transporter? You're dreaming, young lady. Out of the question. Please, sir. It would only be for a short time. I don't suppose this is one of the Elder's requests? No, no, it's nothing to do with her. Jensen. Now there's something you don't see every day. Ah, Elder. You came at the right time. Can you make these knuckleheads see sense? I mean, it's good that they're so enthusiastic. Can you get it through to them that we've got problems enough in the city already? Everyone's all fighting to the best of their ability. I don't see the problem here myself. Don't see the problem? We don't have a damn clue when the next Mobius raid hits us, and you don't see the problem. Come on now, Garrett. What we should be looking at right now is tightening our defenses and protecting the city. We can leave Mobius to Ouroboros. Sounds like you're trying to overturn the Senate's orders. I'm just offering a bit of advice here. Just saying there's no point throwing good resources after bad. Hey, with all due respect... Don't you get it? You folks just haven't got what it takes to go against Mobius. What? You've got to accept reality. Otherwise, you're throwing your lives away for nothing. For nothing? Everyone's fighting to keep people like you alive, and you call that nothing. You think you can trade in your life and change the world? You think it's that simple? But if we do nothing, then nothing will change. You fill the youngsters up with fine ideas, then send them out to the slaughter. Yeah, some talent that is. We don't force our way of life on anyone. They're the ones who decide. Let me ask you then. Did you choose for yourself? You chose his life personally, did you? Your husband must be rolling in his grave. My brother is dead. He won't regret anything anymore. You trying to mock me? If it came across like that, I'm sorry. But bringing up the dead to prove a point, is that really something a Doyle would do? Ugh. All right. You gonna tell me what that was all about? Oh, it's no big deal, really. Thanks. But I'll be the judge of how big a deal it is or isn't, Jensen. Are you telling me that as Elder? 
Jensen. If you aren't pulling rank, then please believe me. I'm not a kid anymore. Olive, plan B. Okay. Hey, Monica. You want to grab a bite to eat? I haven't eaten a thing since this morning. It'd be great to have some company. Someone say eat! Time for tasties! Wind it in, Manana. Sure thing. Let's go to Michiba Canteen, then. the future I see some relations have changed <sighs> can second helping fit in tummy of manana hmm. manana not even had first yet Eat whatever you like. My treat. Keep bringing it out, will ya? Gotcha! Ah. Where do I start? I knew there were a few people whose hearts weren't really in the fight against Mobius. But I'm not sure I understand why they're so openly bitter about it. Please don't judge him too harshly. Garrett just wants to protect his family. His family? Right. He has kids, just like I do. That's why he can't forgive me. I did something no parent should ever do. But why? What did you do? Sending your children into battle. What mother would do that? But this is the life I chose. The day my husband died, I chose to take the mantle of Elder and lead the city. Remind me, a husband is... Someone you promised to live with for the rest of your life. He must have been very important to Monica. So, after you lost your husband, did you become who you wanted to be? I did. I wanted to put an end to the war with Mobius. And to build a way of life that everyone in this world truly deserves. That's what the Six Houses are working towards, and that's what I want as well. Sorry to keep you. Uh, here it is. The house special. Aqua Patsa a la city. Thanks. Oh, looks banging. Actually, there's something I've been curious about. Like, being an elder or being a mother. Do you have to choose one or the other? Guess it's like becoming the commander of a colony or something? Yeah, that's a good comparison. If you take on that role, you're responsible for every single person that lives there. So being Elder means Gondor can't get special treatment, even though she's my daughter. Sounds like a tough break. Boss, got something you might like to hear. We confirmed an unauthorized transport leaving the city. It's piloted by Jansen and his crew. What's its heading? I'd like to know that myself. The location tracker's out. I think it's safe to say they're planning quite the stunt. Right. Olive's there now. Should we send the armory? The search area's too wide. Maybe... Garrett could help us? Right. He was talking about the transport in the plaza. You hear that? I don't have a good feeling about this, boss. I'll speak to Garrett. You can do a little groundwork for me, Trent. Word gets around. Imagine the commotion once the Conservatives hear about this. Work your charms on them, Travis. I'll make it worth your while. Okay, boss. Let's settle this squabble. Looks like we'll be skipping lunch then. Never mind. Let's just try to find out what Jansen's up to and... Huh? Speed eating. You get used to it in my line of work. We should get to the residential district. Garrett will be at home. Just warping about. Warp. 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 
This way. Yes, he was trying to scrounge a transport off me. I told him no. Didn't ask what he'd do with it. I see. But whatever it was, I guess they went and did it anyway. Or you wouldn't be here asking about it. Every ruddy last candidate got together and went against their orders. Insane. It's like Shania all over again. <sighs> or rather, maybe Shania was the trigger for all this. Maybe Jansen and the others are doing this because of what she did. Huh? They realized that no matter how good the defenses were, the downfall could still come from within. And if they don't act, there's no future. If you see it like that, it's not hard to understand. But what are they trying to do right now? We still don't have a clue. They aren't selling the city out, though. You get that, don't you? If they're trying to help, it's a pretty dumb stunt to pull. How childish can you get? Garrett. I just don't want to watch them fail. All that blood, sweat, tears, pain. It does no good if they throw it all away. Why is that so hard to understand? We need to teach them about the past and help them make the right choices before disaster happens. That's our responsibility as adults. Right, Monica? I understand how you feel. But Jansen's crew aren't fighting for victory or glory here. Right now, they just want to do something that won't leave them with regret. Absolute army cack. Yeah, maybe so. But would you rather they were mindless, obedient automatons? How's that different to being controlled by Mobius? What? We need to get through to them so that we can teach them how to get back on their feet after they fail. We've seen a little more of this life than them. And, as you say, it's our job to help them understand that. Well, well. What a surprise to hear the Elder talking like a parent for a change. Picked it up from my dad. It's how he raised me, now I think about it. Hmm. Yes, I can see that. Anyway, thanks for your time, Garrett. Don't mention it. Sorry I couldn't be more use. Okay, back to square one. Miss Vandam. I was just on duty. I didn't mean to eavesdrop or anything. No problem. Continue. I've got some information about the location of that transport. Kryto was talking about Corn Island. Corn Island, you say? Maybe there's something to it. Yeah. My husband was there 14 years ago. He went out on a mission to collect ether. That's where he lost his life. What? That's... If they're heading to the deepest level, then they're in trouble. Even if they're sure of themselves. We've got to get to Corn Island. <sighs> I see some relations have changed. Let's roll. Something so behold. 
corn. Quite a rare sight. Watch your footing, guys. Just the slow climb. Please be safe. They aren't here. You think they went further? Hmm. Did you hear that? <gasps> Mimi, over there. Oh no. We've got to help. Hurry. Roger. Too bad we can't just jump down. Huh. Find a way down. We can get down over there. Hurry. No chance. Everyone all right? What? Monica? We got you. No time to play with you, I'm afraid. Out of the way. Territorial asshole. We're so sorry. Disobeying orders, stealing a transport. In the end, you're all safe, so I suppose there's that to be thankful for. <sighs> but what in the hell were you thinking? It was for the city. We thought we could seize the loot, maybe use it to beef up our defense. Even if we can't beat Ouroboros, we can still fight. Monica, our duty is to protect the city from our enemies. And, I mean, we got the feeling that we didn't really matter to you, like we weren't real candidates. The way you all just fought, it easily surpassed even our top veterans. But not even the great Guernica Vandom could stand up to the horrors we're facing. They'll chew you up and spit you out. <sighs> and if you were to lose your lives needlessly, you'd leave behind more sadness. I don't want any of you to forget that. Olive, I'm gonna need a report. So when can I get it? Uh, uh, tomorrow? I want it today. Get these supplies stowed away. Also, I expect a written apology from all of you. Fifty pages. Fifty? Not enough? 
In the very near future, we're gonna need about everything you can give us. Until then, you need to prepare. But you're out there on the front line, putting yourself in harm's way. At least let us handle the rear. Please, just trust us. You little. When my brother died, on the day that you were made elder, I decided, I pledged never to leave you alone. I would not let you end up like him. And so, that's exactly what I'm doing here. Somehow. Unbelievable. That's why you nearly threw your life away. It's because I love you. Huh? If you're going to tell us to survive, well then, you should be following your own advice. Jensen. I'll bet you probably only thought of me as a little brother or a friend. But I, I think I know you better than anyone. Oh. Hold on, did he just... Just what? What now? Just be quiet. Jensen. Um... I'm sorry. You see, right now, I... You don't have to say anything now. It's just, I needed to get that across. Instead, when the fighting's done, maybe we could talk this over with each other some more? I'm your superior officer. Yeah, but when Mobius are gone, ranks won't mean a thing. <sighs> Please, just think it over. <laughs> Dude, nice one! Were you scared? Shut it. Anyway, should we go? It's gonna be tough, getting that stuff out of the cave. Ah, snuff it. I'll help you out. Me too. Time for big treasure hunt. Wow, I've never seen you fill a face like that before. What kind of face, exactly? <laughs> like a turkey and eating a black liver bean. Yeah, I can imagine. I have certain duties to uphold as Elder. I've got to head the army, win the future. So, I just thought I could put off everything else until the world to come. Well, maybe this is a good opportunity. Just talk to him. Tell him what kind of a future you want in this world to come. Mother, elder, can't say I understand what those really mean. If you look to the future, you can become whoever you want to be. In the wise words of a certain someone. <laughs> Touché. You should be who you want to be, too. A life after war, eh? Maybe there is. I see. I'll claim the ether here.
I see the relations have changed. I'll claim the ether here. I see some relations have changed. Next time, lose them. we will do it. probably do some other uh, attention quests if I can get to actually appear. Xenia and Zimmer coming out.